जजमेंट ऑफ द पाटिल शिवबा वॉज फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड नाउ शिवबाज फ्रेंड्स व बिजी विद देर एक्टिविटीज इन बारा मावला The state was being scrutinized. They were trying to gauge the support of the people for and against them. Who would support them in their hour of need and who would betray them? This was also being looked into. Now all were expectantly waiting for Shivba to roll the war drums. One day, this declaration of war echoed in the Mavla camp. It was a situation that provoked anger. it so happened there was a plaint in the court the plaint was against the patel of ranjha gaon sire the patel has abducted a farmer's wife he has locked her up when she tried to escape she was beaten up mercilessly she has been abused and harassed none had the courage to raise a voice against this atrocity committed by the patel all the people are mute spectators to this injustice sire nobody is coming forward to help what should we do sire give us justice your subjects have sent their plea to this court shivba heard the plaint he momentarily glanced at his mother seated opposite him then shivba announced this will not do this is a tainted act if our people our leaders behave in such an irresponsible manner before gaining self rule what would be their behavior once they have the power in their hand we consider a woman as a goddess we worship her in the form of a mother whether she is rich poor or from any caste this is a grave insult to our mother then why do we read about the good deeds of our ancestors Go, send some soldiers to arrest the Patel of Ranjha Gaon and present him here. Seeing this enlightened form of Shivba, the courtiers started murmuring. This is Shivba's state, a state where there is justice. This crime will not be pardoned. Now there will be a fight over here. The next day, everyone gathered in the court. the patel was brought to the court in chains shivba was sitting at the head of the court with his mother beside him this was shivba's first judgment and his mother was anxiously awaiting the same she had related tales of ram and krishna to shivba to instill good values in him she had given values of good deeds and valor to him hence her interest in this judgment was at its peak in her mind she prayed to goddess bhavani grant shivba with the proper understanding to be just just then the people hailed the king and the procedure of the court began the accusation against the patel of ranjha was read out shivba's bright appearance angry face and the demeanor of the court dampened the confidence of the patel yet he was aware of his status this fact did have an effect on him this feeling made him reply with arrogance i am a patel a patel by birth i am not scared of anyone i am king in my village i can act according to my wishes there this has been so since the days of the emperor shivba was filled with rage despite having committed a crime how can he be so arrogant his crime had been proved in a stern voice shivba ordered destroy the hands and feet which he used to commit this act of abducting a woman chop off his hands and feet the title of patel which is in his family since generation must be taken away the courtiers were stunned by this judgment but all of them were satisfied 
they were satisfied with Shivba's judgment. His mother, who was sitting next to him, also had tears of happiness flowing from her eyes. Shivba's judgment assured her that her son, whom she had raised with a lot of endeavor, will fulfill her dream of establishing self-rule. The subjects who were suffering the atrocities of sultans will see better days. She mentally thanked Goddess Bhavani for making her endeavor a success. <laughs>